this video. I'm pretty sure that somebody tried to get this horse started. And, you know, she started bucking, and I guarantee you they just couldn't ride her out. As y'all saw how well she can buck. You know, we've been running problems with that with the Falcon Ridge horses. Well, she's a Falcon Ridge horse, too. And somebody came and looked at her, asking about her this weekend to adopt her, and I told them no. Because we already got one horse here that adopted out, and I told the people what they should do when they take it. And, of course, they look at me like, who are you? You know, I'm going to do it my way, and the horse now... Um, me and the horse both is paying for it, you know, because people didn't listen to what I said, and, and unfortunately with both people, I sort of hinted to Nikki that I didn't want neither one of them to adopt him because I knew they couldn't get it done. You know, a lot of y'all out there, you don't live in my world, and uh, the horses we get in here, they're the worst of the worst. And most of y'all don't even come across horses as bad as these are. And does it mean they can be, can't be rehabbed? No, they can be rehabbed. It just takes time and effort and knowing what to do. Pussyfooting with them and hand feeding them treats and everything's not going to get it done because part of the reason that's why they are like that black mare who nailed me. You know, my job is to show y'all ways to doing things to keep you safe, because horses are hazardous. I mean, somebody made a comment on my trailer load when I just put up. Now, you know, horses are going, them suckers, they can get hurt. You put them in a padded stall, and they're still going to get hurt. They are accident waiting to happen. So right now, she's pushing on that bit again. So, you know, it was evident, like the said earlier, that she's had a bit in her mouth before, and the way she accepted a saddle, that told me somebody tried to ride her, but if you watch her mouth right now and her head, it wasn't, I mean, whoever was the person who did that wasn't thinking. You know, the horseman, even me, you know, it's a learning experience all the time. And then, you know, I just had a conversation with a fella, I guess it's a fella, but he thinks everybody goes to clinics and watch videos of morons. Well, you know, stop it. To think of it. He found me by watching a video. So that, that means he's called himself a moron. And plus, I'm not egotistical enough to say, you know, because somebody wants to learn. And at the end of the day, he said, well, all I want to do is ride my show horses and work on my ranch in Wyoming. Well, I'm telling you, I've trained horses in Wyoming, especially the eastern side. There's not much trouble you get into. You get on a horse after a few minutes and just open the gate and go because all you got is rolling hills and no trees. And the horses are housed different. They're raised out in the range. So you got a different kind of horse. So you got to take, when you're paneling these horses, you got to take all that in consideration. How this horse was raised. So, you know, anybody that wants to say anything like that, they're welcome to come work with me a week. Then they get to work with real problem horses, not something that just wants to crow hop and somebody calls it a buck. Good girl. So all I did at that time, just walked away a couple of times, let her come to the bit, so she, you know, I'm just backing up what we're trying to work on.
I just got that nose up so I'm just going to sort of back away from her a little bit right there she looked This time, since I'm taking one off on the side, I'm sort of bending her. With my hand here. There. You know, even with the use of the bungees, they're a big point where I'll just start, you know, flexing her from side to side from the ground. You know, right there, I don't know, somebody in the past has bopped her, but she jumped forward, I just ignore it. So, this is part three on this mirror. I decided to have a chance to work with her since last time we filmed. So it's pretty cut and dry. Next time be just a rehash of this and you know that's the way it's going to keep going forward. I'm not going to move to the next step until this mirror tells me she's ready. That's a key thing. So with that said, as I always say, be true to horse, they'll be true to you. First and foremost, going to say this again, and I'll probably keep saying it, be true to yourself, people. Don't come up with excuses why things are this way or why you don't like something. Really look at yourself, what's going on inside of you for not liking, let's say, another person. Why is then that person you see in them that reminds you of you? You know, that's the key thing. You know, so me, I prefer negative people to be gone. Adios, hasta luego. And that's the way it should be. So, with that said, did enough preaching today. I made up for lost ground today, I think. So, uh, everybody, to my grandkids, my kids, and a special person out there, Washington Lake. God bless and take care.